how to use race joy monitoring from your run sign up dashboard. Uh, monitoring is crucial as you can use it to ensure map accuracy and know if any adjustments during the race are needed. You can track lead, tail vehicles, and race staff. Uh, you can see any off-course alerts. Uh, you can use route replay to verify the participants have run the correct path. You can access individual participant performance data, and you can review progress board to monitor the status of the race. So to access your race, race day monitoring window, head over to your run signup dashboard and select race joy, right here. then monitoring, then race day monitoring. You can use the event drop-down window to select specific events you want to monitor. So if you have a half marathon, uh, marathon, 10K, 5K, you can use this drop-down window to select the different courses you want to monitor. Now it is important to note that uh, for each course, you will need to have different tabs open. So you'll have you want to have one tab open for the marathon, another tab open for the half marathon, so on and so forth. You can also use this full screen view here to uh, get a nice full screen view of the map. Uh, just a nice uh, aesthetically pleasing way to kind of monitor your race. So by default, uh, we show all active participants um, right here. Uh, so this race, particular race, has already passed, so there's no active participants. But a uh, normal race day view will kind of look something like this. So when you have show active checked on, you'll see all these blue dots on your course. Now, if you only want to monitor and view um, specific participants, um, if you come in here and unclick show active, come into course actions and do participant search. Uh, you can search by name, bib. Um, if you have a relay event, you can also search by uh, their team name. And then right here, currently track, you can click um, who you're looking to specifically track and, and go ahead and just add them. So if you want to add Ryan and these, and these particular participants, go ahead and just hit add and then done. And now you can see we've got some, some gray dots here. So gray dots means they're not active, obviously with this race being in the past, um, that's kind of the reason why. Um, so you can also click um, you can also view um, your progress board. So if you come into course actions and go progress board, you can view kind of what's going on and kind of um, the leaderboard and kind of where your leaders are. Um, you can see the time stamps of each pass for each specific mile marker. And again, you can filter it by name and bib. Just kind of a good way to see kind of what's going on in your race. So if you click on a specific mile marker, you can also view um, some specific data for that mile marker. So you can get who has passed, who has gotten a pass at this particular mile marker. You can get their timestamp of when that occurred. And then you can also um, add um, anyone you want to view um, through through this view as well. So if you just hit add, you can view, you can add Matthew, you can add Ant as a as someone you're tracking here. If you want to remove them from being tracked, you can just hit the, the delete button and that'll remove those particular participants. Now, if you click onto an individual dot for a participant, so if you click here, you can also see all of this particular participant's um, pass at each mile marker and their um, kind of performance data. Um, you can hit this review, remove participant if you don't want to track them anymore and remove their dot. And if you come into participant actions and you hit replay path, this is also another great view to, um, to verify that everything is going well on the course and that the participant did actually indeed run the correct course. So when you hit replay path, you'll see an orange line that, that shows the path that this particular participant ran. So you can see kind of what they were doing and if you can uh, qu quickly get a view of anything, um, if they made a wrong turn or anything like that, you can get a nice glance at that. If you come in here and click alerts, you can also see any missed course points or off course alerts, um, and then you can go ahead and track that as well. Just another way to make sure um, everything is going well on the course. You can also send any messages to all your participants or specific individuals um, in the event of any emergencies. So if there is uh, maybe a uh, weather related um, issue that's going on that you need to close your course, you can quickly send a message to all your participants letting them know that the course has been closed and you know please stop running and kind of get to your nearest um, you know get indoors or something like that. So if you come into course actions and if you select send message, 
you can you can send a message to all participants or um, any currently tracked participants. Um, so those are the ones that you have um, actively added onto your map. Um, so then you can send a message out to all your participants you, that have used that are using Race Joy that um, you know the course is closed. Please seek shelter or something like that. Um, you can also do this on an individual level. Um, so you can also send it to individual participants. Uh, maybe a participant has taken the, a wrong turn and is totally off course. You can click on their dot, and if you go participant actions, send message, you can send this particular um, participant a specific message, maybe saying, hey, you took a wrong turn um, back on this intersection, please turn around and, and get back onto course or something like that. Another good safety feature in case you're out doing a, you know, a trail race and someone makes a wrong turn, um, you can quickly contact them and get them back on track. Last thing I'll talk about really quick is this news alerts. Um, by default, we have pre-scheduled news that will go out on how to use Race Joy, how to send a cheer and stuff like that. Um, you can also add your own message that you want to schedule to go out to um, any participants that are um, that have used Race Joy or that are using Race Joy. Um, this could be like any pre-race course changes that, that might happen or any special instructions for participants um, on like maybe where to go, what time to um, get to the start line, stuff like that. So you can name a title, um, you can set a schedule date of start and end time, and then you can go ahead and type in the message here. And that's really all we have today, just a quick overview of how to use our race day monitoring feature. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email at info at racejoy.com, and uh, have a good one. Thanks.